Hey everybody, how's it going today? Super Fiend here. Welcome back to our Total War Three Kingdoms playthrough as Yen by Who, the White Tiger in a World Betrayed. Last episode, after several episodes of chasing him around, bogged down by our loot and that horrendous minus 25% campaign movement range penalty from it, we finally captured Machao, caught him on the campaign map, killed him, we just delegated, and he's still not dead. So our spy is still not at the helm of Machao's faction, unfortunately. And now our spy is like on the verge of getting caught by Lubu, possibly. Our spy is like stuck over here. Machao can't recall this retinue. Uh, so our spy could get killed by Lubu. I don't know, before we manage to take over his faction. Uh, his faction heir, Ma Jai, over here, this used to be a two uh, retinue or two warlord army, but it was a strategist that was very disgruntled, and the strategist left. So now he's probably in the uh, recruitment pool over here. Yeah, I guess some other people in here too. I, I can't afford to pick anybody up. I just wanted to see like if the strategist is in there. No, maybe, maybe they got picked up somewhere else. We also have a court position available. But I'm waiting until one of our, our children comes of age and we marry them. And then the person that's married in, I want to give them the court position. So we're just kind of holding off on that. Uh, over here, we can probably auto-resolve this. We've been sapping at ending. They did sally forth to attack us and we wiped them out. So we can go ahead and delegate this here. This army, our army, ooh. Ouch. Used to have another warlord that was a strategist who turned out to be a spy for Machao. And when we laid siege to the settlement, the spy uh, abandoned us and he's up here now. So he was part of that army that sallied out to attack us and died. Um, I'm hoping they won't lay siege right away. Uh, our food's at minus one. Does this provide food? We have... Almost 6,000. And we have... Anding has a livestock farm. So Anding's going to be a little bit focused on food. So we may as well... Ooh, 2,800. Yeah, I'm not spending 2,800 on that. I'd rather... Let's see. Yeah, I'd rather go down here where we got the construction cost reduction. And upgrade this one instead. So we'll do that. And then we're going to capture the livestock farm over here. This should complete Bashi for us. I am thinking that the auto resolve is not going to be kind to us here. And there's another army nearby. So to the battlefield, we take this. To handle it all manual. Okay, we got this uh, nice uh, building or structure here that's going to block the AI from charging into those uh, artillery units. Jean my Jean. You know, I'm just gonna spread them out over there. And a nice uh, strong Missile line over here with the crossbows. And then the White Tiger Raiders. I'm going to set them here. Spear guards. And then our, our axe fellows. I'm going to set them here. And I'll set them there. Uh, actually, our generals, I'm going to set them out over here. Now, let's, uh, let's kill anything that has spears. 
So the Spear Warriors need to go. They have artillery? Oh, no, that's our artillery. I, for a second there, I don't know what it was, the perspective of the the artillery trails or whatever. It looked like they were flying towards us. Confused me. Our board troops sitting idly back here decided that the farm needs to be burned. Makes sense. Okay, and then the bolt throwers now fire into here. Doing pretty good damage. Those are pretty hefty bolts. They will be group four. Jean Maijan will be group five. Let's push forward. Turn on loose formation. Loose formation. Loose formation. There we go. And our cavalry uh, has guard mode off, so they're just going to pursue everything. Artillery, stop firing. Let's let our troops uh, run down some stuff. Especially our strategists. They've not been getting very high kill numbers in battles. The spear warriors. Nobody is under attack. Okay. Now, hopefully, this sorts out our food. We're going to, of course, need to convert this to the bandit building. And then once we do that, it unlocks the bandit camp. And we'll build the one that provides food this time. Because uh, we're also not very far off from taking Mach House Capital, which is rank 10 and going to cost like 40 odd food, something, something silly like that. Oh, I'm already doing a construction here. Um, all right, we have four foods, so we can wait. We can wait. Liu Bai is running out of territory down here. Uh, Duchy of Shuhan likes us, so he's got some armies that are kind of in this area. Uh, Liu Bai, let's see. How come, how come I can't make peace with you? Like, you're at war with everybody, but I don't know, I don't understand why I don't have a peace option. Whoa. End feud? What the hell? Did, what the hell's a feud? I don't even know what a feud is. Machao's pretty desperate for peace, but he's not going to get it. We're taking we're taking this northwest territory. Okay, right. So to heck with that, Machao. There shall be no peace for you. Uh, I'm going to demolish this. 
I'm not going to do anything else in there. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see. Let's see if we cannot uh, catch them here. I have a 90% chance of successful ambush. So we're going to come out to there and share the spoils. Let's merge up. So we have two champions in here, but that's okay. Uh, they don't necessarily like each other. This guy's the problem. Oh, dear. They, they're all grumpy. Uh, but that's okay for right now. You know, for just a turn or two. It's okay. Maybe this army's going to turn around and try to attack this army that perceivably is weaker. That's kind of what we're hoping will happen there. Uh, I'm almost thinking I should recall these two. I'm almost thinking I should, but I'm going to wait. And uh, if I drop my treasury back down to here, yeah, I don't want to go negative. So I'm just going to set it here where we're not penalizing anybody's um, happiness or satisfaction. Is there any way I can get you, like, some more loot per turn? If we have anything in here that's going to provide extra loot per turn, then we can sit and share the spoils for longer. No, I don't see it. Uh, what are we getting from trade? Again, uh, we started this last episode. 2438. 2438. And what we want to see is if it goes up from 2438 um, when this finishes in two turns. Okay. Not going to put anybody into the position yet here. We're just waiting on Yan Wenmin to come of age. She's 18, so she should come of age next turn. And then the oldest over here is 12. Ah, I guess we end our turn. Oh, Lupu, please don't kill my spy. Ah, they didn't take the bait. They didn't take the ambush bait. Instead, they... <laughs> She's going to get stuck in there. That's That's really bad. We probably need to extract our spy. Uh, I think that Yell Turban Rebellion laid siege. Coming of age, Yan Wenmin as a mule. Yan Yu's been wounded. Great. Uh, trusting. Cheng Fu. Really? Oh, because I shared the spoils too much. Right. Okay, Bao Shun. These guys got to be running out of supplies down here. Ma Zhai has got to be. Um, where is Machao? Got to be around here. And yeah, they're they're laying siege. Let's see here. Ooh, okay. Um, darn. Withdraw. Withdraw. So this rebellion is going growing stronger, and we're stuck in here. So I should have pulled them out. 
Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to send reinforcements over. Plus 50% campaign movement range. And now we're in enemy territory. So we're not going to replenish, but our loot's going to go up pretty high. And then we can get over here and get in reinforcement range. Um, we might get our units back in a very weakened state before they initiate an attack. So, I mean, that could work out well. And then Bao Shun. We need to slow you down. Assassinate faction leader. Should we just try to do it and see what happens? Because because there is like a, a slight penalty. But Machao is proving very difficult to catch. And she might get killed over here anyway, so we might have to extract her out. And so I'm thinking it might be fun to just try to assassinate and see what happens. Um, but I think we should poison provisions for Bao Shun first before we before we do that. So twenty seven and sixteen. All right. Hopefully she can live for a couple more turns, and then maybe we'll just try to assassinate Ma Chao. Uh, you know what? I'm going to build Undercover Network one more time. Because it goes up very slow, uh, but the cover gain is 39 per turn. So that's that's quite fast. Uh, yeah, good luck uh, taking this. Now, if they starve it out, they might, they might make some uh, progress in here. <sighs> but I don't know. And this guy's his satisfaction is one, so he might even just leave the army anyways, or leave the faction. So I don't know. We might be okay. Might be okay. Okay, we're going to get up there. Looks like we can catch him right now. And then still be in our territory. So let's go after him. I'm going to release him and I'm going to take the money. Oh, look at that. Oh, I was like, whoa, he got wounded. No, that was from the event. Okay. So we'll share the spoils. And then next stop is the uh, farm in Chengdu. I guess I still can't make peace with you, huh? And what about an alliance? Wang Lang, Zhu Zhai, Duchy of Wu all like it. It's these three down here that don't. Okay. And our family member has come of age. So I said I wanted to marry them off. Marry them to somebody. So we marry them to the spy. And this guy could also be a spy. He's 33. She's 18. Uh, 57. No. 38. Okay, I'm going to marry her to Shi Xuan. Because I think this guy's a spy. But by marrying him into the uh, into the family, he should become incredibly happy. So you, we're gonna marry 
to Shi Xuan. I wish it would tell me here if they liked each other, but there it is. And then Shi Xuan, do you hold a position in my court yet? Uh, you're an administrator. So you're still not the person that would go in there. And then Shu Sui. Hmm. All right, I guess I should just pick somebody then. Who is it that you don't get along with? Yan Yu, you get along with everybody else, so you can go in. Okay, well. I like it. Okay, I think that's it for this turn. I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to share the spoils with those other two armies that are back in our home territory. No, our spy is going to get killed. Oh, she's going to get killed. I can feel it. Uh, hopefully the rebels don't attack us, the yellow turbans. Hopefully, hopefully. And if we're lucky, we'll have enough campaign movement range to get to the livestock farm here. Duchy of Wu requested Bo Pingju join their war. Pirates of Fu Chen. So did our trade? It was like twenty three hundred. Now it's twenty six. So we we have actually earned a little bit more by improving our trade influence. Uh, income and trade influence comparison with your trade partners in diplomacy. So I guess like um, Duchy of Wu has higher trade influence than we do. But then we have higher trade influence than Shu Gong and Zhu Zhaizhi. Zhui Zhaizhi. And so that's um, how it affects those deals, I guess. I'm not sure. I've always been a little fuzzy on that. Uh, let's see. Oh, so now we got everything down in here. Upkeep reduction for new spies. I wonder if that would affect existing spies. Uh, increased food from fishing. Plus one available trade agreements. Uh, plus five income from all sources. Uh, and also an additional assignment. So now that these ones are no longer like seven, six, and eight turns, let's uh, let's go down this way. Because uh, I, think, I think the extra assignment, extra income... And then the uh, the trade agreement is what I really want. We have lots of coalition members, so we should be able to get trade. Uh, it looks like we're 11 turns off. Our turns go by pretty quick. Rebellion imminent in Shindu. Oh, no. Really? Wow. Okay, we are, we are grumpy down here. That's right. I was thinking about uh, what we need is grain stores. We need public order. Oh, we do have corruption. Okay. We're only losing 200 income per turn from it. Uh, how much are we losing in Jian and 200? So we, like if we lowered our corruption, we could get another 400 income from, from our commanderies back, these main commanderies down here. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, we're going to need them both up here. We'll just merge them together, I guess, and they'll kill the rebellion. Uh, if I build grain storage, we'll have plus 10 public order. It still won't be enough. Because if we go all the way up here, it's minus 20 public order total. Right now we're at minus 10. Uh, public order, our population is a factor.
pretty sure one of these provides public order. Yeah, this one. Food tents. Uh, but I don't want to. I don't want to cut our research down. Wow, when our population gets all the way up, you get an additional minus 30 public order. So if you have max population and max this, minus 50 public order. Seems a little harsh. Seems a little harsh to me. Uh, none of these other buildings are going to assist with public order. Right, that we can build. Like the only thing we have left, I think, is grain storage. Ooh, plus sixty percent trade influence. Okay, I'm starting to see the value in that now. Uh, so we like we could go up this way and just say forget about public order. Who cares? You know what? I think I'm going to do that. How much are we getting from silk? Oh, you know what? We don't get anything from silk. That's right. Our our silk our silk nodes provide income from banditry. Look at our silk trader. Food, income from banditry and trade influence. So And then extra deployables own armies in this county. Okay, so going back to this. Well, seeing as how we're going for another trade agreement anyways. We could go up to here for 50% trade influence. And get us a few extra 100 per turn. Undercover network costs for enemy spies. Ah, gosh, this is this is rough. This is this is difficult. I'm spending way too much time thinking about this now. Ah, uh, pop, 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 pop. I am going to build, I don't think we'll be able to offset all the nasty public order from max population and max city. So with that in mind, you know, I'm just going to go for the marketplace. It, it seems to me like it's the wrong choice and I excel at making the wrong choice. So we're going to pick that. Um, we have 16 surplus food right now. And I am not going to uh, upgrade any cities quite yet because we are going to be taking the Imperial City up there. So, don't want to do that. Oh, looky here. Uh, I think they set up an ambush. Where'd they go? No, he's right there. Well, looky, looky. Um, let's delegate this time. Yeah, it did hurt. Delegating hurt. But he's so weak, I don't think he can turn around and do anything. We've picked up a new character. Let's check him out. Liu Zhang. And yeah, he's not going to be able to turn around and do anything to us there. Uh, we can immediately upgrade this or convert it. Uh, we're still waiting over here. Uh, looking pretty good, actually. Duchy Wu, you're a coalition member. I really wish we could get these three on board. Do I have any quick deals? Just Ma Chow. No way. No way. What is your satisfaction? Oh, you're so mad.
Duchy of Song. Are you at War Duchy of Song? I bet you are. Ah, she might be able to give Lubu the slip. It's possible. She's in such bad shape. If she dies, she dies. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna fully commit with her. Uh, but now let's uh, let's weaken that army even further. That's over there. Let's discredit Mr. Grumpy Face. What? Why not? Why? Why can't I discredit him? Well, that sucks. Darn. I can't do anything with that. Oh, boy. I can't do a revolt. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fine. He, he, she can't be recalled. She can only be recalled within Ma Chao's own territory. And I, I think she's going to die. Uh, can we extract her if we even wanted to? We could extract her. Uh, but no, nah, her occasional poison provisions has been quite fruitful. It's really not much for us to do in here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can I auto-resolve this? My characters are fairly healthy. Let's see. Uh, yes, I can. It's risky. Everybody survived. Yeah, get out of here. Shoo. Shoo. Okay. And let's pop out with them. Share the spoils as well. Do you have night battles? You don't have anything. You don't have any skills. You are completely skillless. Uh, well, maybe I could poison provisions once more. Yeah, I could do it twice, actually. Baoshun, 27 and 16. This may be her last axe as a spy. Yeah, go ahead. Try to take my copper mine. See how far you get. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, do I want to build anything in Wudu? Maybe the marketplace. Okay, so you got the bandit headquarters, the tributary, and the forge. Uh, we don't have the corrupted county office yet. But I'm going to build the marketplace here. And we're going to build this there because it's really just not that expensive. And this will provide a small boost to income from banditry. Can I really get there this turn? Ooh. I can. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to move up here. We're going to start sapping while we've got the awesome campaign movement range. Stop! 
And let's continue the siege. Uh, we could demand surrender. If they attack us, I do think we will win. They have not accepted our terms. <laughs> they It's a port too, so they could just sell away if they don't favor their odds. Uh, and I guess it depends on how quickly is Machao gonna make it there to help them out. Zhang Jian. She's starving them out at Anding, so. Not doing it. Okay. Is that it? I dare say that looks to be it. Let's see what happens here. I'm expecting that Machao is going to sally forth and attack us. That would be the obvious move. Uh, they have not attacked Wudu, and they have not sallied forth. So we know that the AI is not going to try to take the copper mine. Uh, we will invite Wen Shu. Quite a few people did not like that. Did they just walk into the city? They did. Wow. Okay. Spy killed. Spying against Machao. Well, it looks like she was caught after all. Darn. But she did some significant damage. She saved our copper mine. Spying is a dangerous game. Shopkeeper, shopkeeper. So we need to upgrade our shopkeepers. Rebellion and Shindu we need to take care of. Our spy has been killed. That's okay. When we come back in the next one, hopefully we'll be able to take Jin Cheng. I'll probably come back in here and uh, clobber this rebellion. I guess they just assaulted. Um, so we'll be able to take that back. Upgrade our markets. Yan Yu, what are you going to do? Yan Yu could probably run this guy down. Uh, if we could get in here to the armor craftsman, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but then we would want to try to trade Chengdu with Duchy of Wu and Duchy of Shu Han so that we could have the whole thing. We don't want to split borders with them because then they they start to feel like, hey, maybe they should maybe they should be the one that owns it. And then we just got the rebellion over here. No big deal. So we'll see you in the next one. Let me know if you enjoyed this with comments or thumbs up. I'm enjoying it. We're having lots of fun. If you have any strategies, tips, tactics, suggestions, anything like that, they're always welcome as well. And until next time, have yourself a great afternoon and take care. We'll see you then.